Hello, everyone. I'm going to present our work, Improving an Object Detector and Extracting Regions Using Superpixels. So the motivation is that when we apply a pre-trained object detector to a video, we might have some problems, like first, a pre-trained detector does not work all unconstrained videos. Here is an example. Uh, we have a DPM detector with pre-trained models, and uh, when we apply it to some videos, for this one it might be good, and for this one it's good. But for some other videos, um, it will fail. Because these videos um, they are very different in terms of uh, uh, viewpoints, uh, backgrounds, or uh, illuminations. So it's very difficult for this uh, pre-trained detector to work for all videos. Another problem is that the gradient feature will fail due to pose variations and misalignment. Here I show an example. Um, we use DPM detector to detect for this person if the pose is normal, then it is good. But if they, are, they have pose variations and if there are misalignment of the sliding windows, uh, it will fail. So regarding to these problems, we propose our solution. The first thing is that we under a new classifier. We apply this DPM detector with pre-trained model to a new video, and we get some uh, initial detections. Uh, with these detections, we can train a new classifier uh, using different features. So uh, with this new classifier, we can classify on these uh, detections and rescore those detections then we use, with this uh, renew detections, we can train a second classifier, and we do it iteratively to improve the detection. Another point is that we use color cues instead of uh, greeting features in training this new classifier. Um, the intuition is like uh, in a video, the pose. Uh, will change quickly, but the color of a person uh, will not change that much. So the color information will help us to improve the detection. Here, uh, given a detection, we can extract super pixel models uh, which contains the color information. And with this color information, we can correct those uh, detections that are misaligned. So let me uh, introduce more details of our appearance model, the superpixels um, in back of world representations. So first we have some detections and we can extract superpixels of, of them. The superpixels um, can measure the feature statistics on semantically meaningful subregion. So it's a very good representation for our use. Uh, for each detection, we can extract 100 superpixels. Each superpixel is represented by a five-dimensional uh, vector. X, Y is the center of the superpixel. L, A, B is the average color of the superpixel. Yeah. Um, then we can make backward representation uh, for all these uh, superpixels. And then we get histograms for each detection. The Bagel World model uh, can handle pose variations and misalignment very well. This is the overview of our method. Uh, first, we apply a um, pre-trained DPM model detector uh, to a new video and get some initial detections. Uh, we, have, we set the threshold to a very low number so we can have uh, almost all the true positives and many false positives. Then we split uh, these detections into different groups. Um, first, the, the highest score ones go into the confident detection group. They will be used as positive training examples. And the others go into the hard example group. 
uh, they will be uh, used for uh, as testing samples. And we also collect some background examples um, for the third group. This will be used as negative training examples. And we extract super pixel uh, features for all these detection windows. And we do k-min clustering um, and get back over representation. So each detection window is represented by one histogram. We put all this into SVM um, and uh, do prediction on hard examples. You can see we can uh, relabel these hard examples. They have a different score now. And then we can, we can move some of the hard examples to the other groups. So we do it iteratively, then we can refine the detection. Now I'm going to show the qualitative results. Um, this is the parking lot one data set. You can see the left is the original DPM detector, and the right is the result of our method. Um, you can see there are some misdetections uh, using original detector. And in our method, we can fix those. Uh, here is another example in parking lot two data set. Uh, we can see there are two misdetections and one false detections using the original DPM detector. And uh, we can see uh, our method fix all of them. Um, especially the false detection on the tree. Uh, the reason is that uh, the green features are quite similar to the person. So if you are us only using the green feature, it will fail. But uh, since we have this color information, we can correct that. And uh, some more examples, some um, town center data set. We correct some misdetections. And past 2009, it also improves. And here we show some more examples um, on two videos that has um, frequently uh, post changes. This is a skateboarding video. And you can see since the post changes uh, very frequently, so the uh, original DPM model cannot uh, handle that. But our method uh, using this color queue can uh, recover all these detections. Here is a skateboarding 2 video. Uh, you can see the original DPM detector uh, have many misdetections. Okay, next I will show the quant uh, quantitative results. We have six uh, data sets, and for the original detector, it performs well, but for some data set, it gets very low scores. And using our super pixel based method, we can improve it uh, in large margin, especially the skateboarding uh, one data set and the parking lot two data set. We improve um, about 16%. Uh, we also compare with, uh, our super pixel feature with hog feature. Uh, we use the same uh, online learning framework, but just different features. Um, as we can see that uh, uh, super pixel feature is uh, better than hog feature. Here I show some uh, precision recall curves for the six data sets. We can see that uh, the, red, uh, the red curves are our method with super pixel features and it outperforms all the others. Um, so this is uh, our video result. Uh, the green one box shows the original D, uh, DPM detector. The red one box shows our method. We can see that uh, the original detector has a lot of misdetections and um, false detections. Uh, our method improves a lot.
this is um, the video result of Town Center data set. You can see uh, some false detections of the uh, DPM detector, and we can prove that. This is the uh, pattern lot one data set. We also show some improvement on it. Okay. Um, in addition to this um, object detector improvement, we also have uh, object segmentation module that can extract regions from the detection window. Uh, here is a framework of the detector improvement. In addition to this, we, uh, since we already have the super pixels, and the super pixels preserve the boundary of the object, so we can just do the CRF segmentation uh, from all the super pixels and uh, get nice segmentation. So here I show the details. First, we have uh, the true positives from the, the last stage. And uh, we can obtain confidence map from these detections, get some results. The red color means that <coughs> the super pixel uh, has a high confidence that it belongs to the object. So how to get this um, confidence map? Uh, first, we will cluster all super pixels from the background examples. And then we can get many uh, centers. Those are negative centers. And then we calculate the distance between each super pixel in the detection window to, the, uh, to these clusters. So we will know the confidence that it belongs to the background. So we calculate this equation, SPI is IS super pixel of current detection window. Cluster J, J cluster of the background super pixels. And prior is um, a, relaxes, a relaxation term that removes noises. <coughs> um, so this equation will give us the, the uh, confidence of one super pixel belongs to the background. And by using 1 minus uh, minimal w, we can get the confidence that a pixel, a super pixel belongs to the uh, object. Um, with this confidence map, we can do CRF segmentation and get the refined boundary. In the CRF, uh, the unitary term is confidence score. Uh, the pairwise term is color difference between different super pixels. Here I show some segmentation results. This is uh, the parking lot one data set. Uh, we blend uh, the segmentation onto this background. So we can see the red color means uh, our segmentation. This is uh, the paths data set and parking lot two data set. And here the shows the video results of this segmentation. This is another uh, data set. So to conclude, uh, we proposed a method to improve the object detector using super pixels. And we can extract object regions from the detection window. Our method improves the scope art detector by 5 to 16% in average precision. Thank you.